Barista Edirin Eshed, CEO Total Life Concerns and the Chairperson International Federation of Women Lawyers, FIDA, Lagos Chapter, Barista Chinwe Efobi, have said widows have rights to everything that makes life worth living. As they said, despite the enacted laws, widows in Nigeria are still faced with challenges that go against their rights. They said this at the International Widows Conference 1.0 tacked women's rights put together by Total Life Conference in collaboration with the FIDA in commemoration of this year's International Widows Day celebration. Destiny Momo was there and has more. Despite the Nigerian government's efforts to enact laws like Widows Protection Law 2011 and Violence Against Persons Prohibition Act 2015, Yet many widows and their children are trapped in a cycle of poverty, vulnerability, and marginalization. Conveners of this event speaks on the ills and invisibility widows are faced with in the society. Being a Sunday, so that's why we are marking it today, because it was fitting on a Sunday. So for today, we are FIDA Lagos is uh, collaborating with uh, Total Life Concern. The outreach for widows and we are here to discuss on the rights of widows and the, you know there are a lot of things inhibiting widows especially in African countries you can when when somebody loses the husband you can see that it's, it's, it's hell on earth a lot of things the barriers a lot of things that uh, that associated with uh, widowhood so you, you can imagine we go to court on their behalf we, on every Thursday, we have what we call legal clinic. They come to the, our uh, secretariat. We take care of them. We cancel them for those that need cancel. For those that require going to court, we go to court and represent them free of charge. We don't charge them money. So most are FIDA, FIDA legal aid, counseling, mediation, understand. But for the total life concern we are passionate with, they have their own uh, set of widows that they take care of. We also take care of them, you know. We, we, we try to give them whatever we have. I'm a member of the FIDA um, Lagos branch. And this is the first time we are collaborating. And the topic or the theme of this year is widows' rights. You know, we are advocating for the rights of widows to be heard. You know, widows, they are invisible people. We must agree with that, especially the vulnerable ones. They don't have a voice. And that's why we decided to come with FIDA to, to, to educate the public, not just the widows, we educate the public as well on the rights of widows. And one of them, right to own property, right to dignity. And inside, we're going to be talking about harmful practices. You can, even in this time, even in this time, they still go through that. And we don't want it. It's repugnant to natural justice. And the law does not, um, the law does not support that. Okay, my looking at our vision is to restore hope to vulnerable widows. And how do we do this? We empower them financially. We, we empower them financially. We train them with our skill acquisition programs. We also we also um, give them seed capital to start their small businesses because these people, these women are vulnerable um, women. Other speakers and partners also gave new dimensions on the widows' rights founder of a foundation called Blossom Flow. Blossom Flows um, um, is, is what we do is we talk about eradication of period poverty and ele elevates every woman. There are over 37 million women in Nigeria today that do not have access to sanitary pad. So today we're doing a collaboration in order for us to be able to give the widows, sanitary pads, and educate them because these women are going through a lot. They do not have their husbands anymore, so they are saddled with the responsibility of buying sanitary pads for themselves and for their children. You can imagine when they have to choose between food and sanitary pads. Some widows could not hold back praises for the impact of total life concerns to them and their children. Five years ago, a year after she started, uh, then I know what uh, my life was not as as it is now. Uh, I, when I lost my husband, it was just like uh, the whole world is finished. But when somebody introduced me to the total life consign, 
since then my uh, the treatment I've been receiving my when my daughter gained admission, I don't have money. I ran to them. They paid the school fees. And when I when I don't have business, they are the one that started start up my business. I want to thank our mommy, Mrs. S. A. D. This TLC program has been a wonderful thing who have changed my life. Since I lost my husband, I was being established to have my own business called Let God announce TLC the most so that more people will join her because she's doing a good work in our lives and the life of our children too. I've benefited a lot. The first year I joined, they gave me a grinding machine, that big one. I've started, I use it for my business and I'll be using it to take care of my children. I have a widow empowerment uh, 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 law there as well. And then River State, you know, uh, though um, we also have another problem with our laws that encourages discrimination against uh, uh, women. For instance, um, you, you, you have the penal code. When we're talking about violence against women, you have the penal code. The criminal code says that uh, unlawful intercourse is not when you have intercourse with your wife. In 2022, statistics of widows in Nigeria could be quantified as 15 million of the world's 258 million widows. Certainly, there is bound to be increased to these figure as this is 2024. Destiny Mama Plus TV News.